According to the health department, diabetes is the seventh leading cause of death here in Hawaii. It's a serious, common, and costly disease. Let's send things over to Dash, who's with a doc, with more. Prince Lauren, thank you very much with Dr. Ben Roney, a primary care physician at Venice Health Castle. Thanks for joining me. This is a, a topic that's kind of, I don't want to say near and dear to my heart, certainly not dear, but uh, my father was a diabetic and that was one of the reasons that led to, mm -hmm. to his death. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, first of all, the, the heredity factor. It, does it get passed down? I've heard it skips generations. What is the situation uh, and if your parents are a diabetic? Yeah, so it's, it, it's not exactly like with your hair color or your eye color, but there's a definite predisposition. If you have yeah. a family history, you're at an increased risk. And it's whether or not that's because of your genes or just because of the diet, you know, your family tends mm -hmm. to have, it's probably a little bit of both. So if mom and dad are diabetic, best to just take that precaution, know that you are probably at a higher risk. So what do you do? What is the best way other than going and getting your, your blood sugar tested on a regular basis? How often should you do it? When should you start doing it? Yeah, so depending on symptoms that people have, I mean, mm -hmm. if it's they're all of a sudden really thirsty, they're peeing a lot, you notice a change in coloration of the skin on the neck, on the armpits, those kind of things people tend to go to the office for. But sometimes we need to just sort of screen on a regular basis. Uh, if someone over the age of 40, if they're overweight, which is a BMI above 25, mm -hmm. they need to be getting checked. And any time we see a normal blood sugar, we still need to check you know, every couple years at least. Right. Anyway. All right, you already talked about some of the symptoms. Uh, we hear type 1 and type 2. Type 1 you're born with. Type 2, it seems to affect people in their 40s, 50s, 60s. Uh, yeah. Clarify the two. So essentially, diabetes itself um, can be split into those different groups. You have mm -hmm. insulin, which moves sugar into your cells, and those cells in the pancreas that produce insulin are destroyed by our own body in a type 1 diabetic. So it's an autoimmune disease, just like you'll have with you know, lupus or rheumatoid arthritis. Whereas type 2 is simply you have so much blood sugar from your diet or lack of exercise that over time, your cells no longer are responding gotcha. to the insulin. All right, so here's the part that people don't want to hear. You mentioned the key word is diet. Obviously, ice cream, candies, alcohol, all no-nos. But some of the bigger no-nos are the ones that you don't often think about that are big here, not starch. Bread, pasta, and the big killer rice. Absolutely. You know, that's probably the biggest problem we see. And, you know, Hawaii, because of our genetic makeup here, we were yeah. predisposed to it. But our diet is different than the rest of the countries because we eat rice almost three meals a day. Right. And that's probably one of the biggest factors you see in, mm -hmm. in developing diabetes is, is the diet. And you got to cut back on the carbs. Just like you said, the obvious stuff, candy, soda, things like that, but also the pasta, bread, potatoes, rice. So more fiber, less starch. It's hard. It's hard, but <laughs> being healthy isn't easy. Right. Appreciate it, Doc. Dr. Ben Maroney from Castle of Venice Hospital. Uh, look forward to next month. We'll talk about different topics every month. Appreciate you. Thank you very All much. Right. Ladies, back to you. Howard, doctor, thank you.